Hello everyone. In this video, I'd like to show how to produce a confidence interval table using SPSS. At the first example, let's produce a 95% confidence interval for the population mean weights of males and females in a group A using SPSS. We use a weight A variable and gender variable for this example. You will need to make sure the setting on each variable by clicking on the Variable View tab at the bottom. Gender variable is set up as string type with nominal level measurement, while the weight variables are set up as numeric type with scale measurement level. Click the Data View tab to go back to the spreadsheet. To start, click the Analyze menu and the Descriptive Statistics, and finally, Explore. Then we are going to move the target variable weight A into the dependent list box. This weight A dataset has a mixed gender. We need to separate them into males and females. So move the gender variable into the factor list box. Let's set up the confidence level by clicking on statistics. Here, SPSS uses 95% as the default. Since we want 95% interval for this example, we keep it at 95. Then click Continue. We are only interested in the confidence interval and not any graph. So check only statistic. Then click on OK. We now have the result. Here is the output from SPSS. Let's write out the confidence interval for the mean weight of each gender. Since we are estimating the population average weight based on the sample, we use mu for the notation of population average. For females, the output shows the lower bound value at 131.9647, so it is a lower confidence limit value. Similarly, it shows upper bound value 148.3686 in the output. That becomes the upper confidence limit value. So we are 95% confident that the population mean weight of females in the group A is between 131.9647 pounds and 148.3686 pounds. Let's construct the interval for males in the same way. The output shows lower bound value, so it is a lower confidence limit value. Similarly, it shows upper bound value in the output. That becomes the upper confidence limit value. So we are 95% confident that the population mean weight of males in the group A is between 134.2853 pounds and 156.7147 pounds. Here is another example. Let's produce a 98% confidence interval for the population mean weights of males and females in a group B using SPSS. We use a weight B and gender variables for this example. From the top menu, click Analyze and 
descriptive statistics, and finally, explore. Then we are going to change the target variable to weight B instead of A in the dependent list box. We keep the same gender variable for the factor list box. Let's set up the confidence level by clicking on statistics. Since we want 98% interval for this example, we enter 98 here. Then click on continue. Again, we want only statistics, then click on OK. We now have the result. Here is the output from SPSS. Let's write the confidence interval for the mean weight of each gender as before. Since we are estimating the population average, we use mu for the notation again. For females, the output shows a lower bound value, so it is a lower confidence limit value. Similarly, it shows the upper bound value in the output. That becomes the upper confidence limit value. So we are 98% confident that population mean weight of females in the group B is between 128.5320 pounds and 145.9124 pounds. Let's construct the interval for males in the same way. The output shows a lower bound value, so it is a lower confidence limit value. Similarly, it shows the upper bound value in the output. That becomes the upper confidence limit value. So we are 98% confident that the population mean weight of males in the group B is between 135.7381 pounds and 159.4286 pounds. Please comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and see you again.